Hey everyone, Eleni Amon here. Thanks for stopping by the channel once again. Today I wanted to go over just a little bit of this new Notion template that I made. It is a free template and it does have some affiliate links like that type of stuff on it, but it is completely free. And the whole purpose of this is to help, you know, handmade business owners who are trying to look at craft fairs and getting into more of the, the craft vendor space. And so I'm just going to go through this checklist that I have real quick and kind of just go from there. But what I do is I help handmade businesses figure out how to make a living with their craft. And for me personally, I have done a lot of different types of crafts. So everything from macrame and wood burning to jewelry making and crocheting plushies, all of these types of things. And while yes, you can use sites like Etsy, I do also hope that other people are expanding their businesses by doing craft shows or, you know, having their own website as well. So let's get into this here. So again, craft show checklist, this is what you will see. So once this is downloaded, it will ask you to duplicate the page. And this is what the page should look like once you have duplicated it. And so on here, I do have a craft show calendar. So once you have your craft shows up and running, this is where you can actually input what, what, when, where your craft show is. And then over here, I have a little notes section. So maybe you came across another craft fair that you're interested in or, you know, something else that you just want to add some notes over here, right? And as you scroll down more, this is where I have the craft show checklist. So I have items for inventory. So again, whenever I say inventory on here, it's bring everything you got. It is better to have more than you think you need. And so you can add your inventory here. Maybe it's, you know, six macrame wall hangings, five crocheted plushies, five crocheted chicken plushies, whatever it might be. But this is where you can have your inventory if, if you so choose. And then this next section here is display items. So what you can do is go through this. Do I have table the tables that I need? Do I have table covers for those tables? Any shelves or risers, racks, bins, pegboards, all of these things. And if you ever want to add an item, all you have to do is click this plus button here. And then you can do to-do list and then add your item here. So if I just enter, it also puts a little checkbox there for you. Um, let's see here. So the next one is packing supplies and tools. So this is where, you know, whenever you make a sale, you'll use a bag, right, to put the item in or bubble wrap, tissue paper. Make sure that you have tape, scissors, zip ties, anything that you might need um, during your time at the craft fair. The first one that I ever did, there were a few things that I wish I had. A scissors, those was one of the number ones. And I did not bring any bags. It didn't even occur to me to bring bags for people. So when they purchased an item, I could just throw that in there and hand it to them. So. That is very, very important. I also recommend getting plastic clear, like see-through bags, just because so there have been people that have told me, hey, when I did the clear see-through bags, I got more sales because somebody saw something cool inside of the bag and asked where they got it and they could direct those people to you. So just something to think about there. And then payment processing. So you're gonna wanna have, you know, extra cash and varying denominations for if people pay you in cash, you wanna make sure that you can give them change for that. Uh, possibly a card reader, this is probably the best purchase. I think I think there's a way to get one for free, but I think I had to pay like $10 because I already had an account or something like that. But I use that Square card reader and then having you know Venmo, PayPal, Stripe, whatever it might be, the ability for people to use that as well. When it comes to promotional materials over here, you know, things like flyers, banners, pricing sheets, making sure that you you understand you need to have all of these things labeled. You really want to make sure that, um, like, for example, these pricing sheets, hey, I have these items here. This is how much they are. Or you can tag every single item as well, but making sure that pricing is is not confusing for the customer. 
And then signage is like, you know, your banner or something that actually says the name of your shop and has your logo on it. Now, I don't even have one of these yet because I haven't done a ton of craft fairs. And in fact, I am really starting to hit it hard this year. Um, so yeah, you don't necessarily have to have banners and all of this fancy stuff right away, but I definitely recommend getting some kind of a sign or just, you know, having a little cutout of of your logo at least so that people know who you are and what you do right away. Business cards and then I also would recommend having a sheet for email signups. Now you know it could be super simple just name, email, you know things like that on on a lined sheet of paper so that people can actually sign up and see when you have new items that are in stock and things like that. Your email is really important and so if you can get more emails just by existing at a craft fair, that would be really amazing. And then I also recommend adding this to if you do custom orders. Now I did this for a small craft fair last year and it worked out pretty well actually, just from my business and marketing knowledge, I just decided to, to add a custom order slip and I actually had three or four people fill one of those out. And so what they did was basically say, hey, here's my name, email, phone number, this is the item that I want. And so when I was done with that fair, I would, you know, message them and say, hey, just want to make sure you're still up for this. You know, here's a link to to pay the deposit for your custom item, something like that. Um, so if I go down to extra items here, so as you can see, whatever you want to add or get rid of, you can always delete too. So if I just over over here, you can delete it like that. But water, snacks, pens, pencils, notebooks, I always like having some kind of a notebook or tablet with me so that I can write down the best sellers, um, what price range that people are buying the most, and obviously just kind of figuring out, okay, making sure that I do have my inventory uh, settled because you never want to have anybody steal your items. But if something happened to be stolen, you can kind of check it out on there. Uh, let's see here. So bag some kind of bag or something for your money that spare change there um, a kind of portable charger if it is a longer fare extension cords if needed hand sanitizers lotion band-aids jacket trash bag work in progress sometimes you might have a craft fair that's a little bit slower and so it's kind of nice to be able to just kind of like work on something on the side too and I think a lot of people do enjoy seeing people actually in that creative process as well. And then the last thing here, I have not done any outdoor craft fairs yet, but obviously if you do, a lot of people have a tent, weights for the tent if it's really windy, possibly some walls for the tent, and then a heater or fan depending on the time of year, obviously. But those are a few things to think about. If you can think of anything else that should go under here, like let me know, or obviously you can just download this and add it. But that is the checklist. I hope, I hope this wasn't too quick and too fast, but I just wanted to give a quick run through all of this. And then I also have a link for my, uh, some affiliate links for my own Amazon shop. And so if you click this, so these are some of the things that I will bring to the craft fair. So again, if you want to click one of these, I might get an affiliate kickback from it. Obviously, again, you don't have to buy any of these things, but these are just some of the things that I like and have helped me display my items a little bit better. So if I go back here. Okay, so yeah, again, let me know if you like this or if you have any ideas for more templates that you'd like to see, because I'd really like to make more of these either Notion templates or checklists, whatever it might be to, to help you as a small handmade business. So maybe it's something that is just actually just an inventory list, you know, something that you can put everything that you that you create down. Maybe it's a list um, for social media, you know, what you need to post on there, whatever it might be, just let me know. That's about all I have for this craft show checklist. Pretty quick video today, but again, just wanted to quickly go over this new thing with you. The link for this template will be in the description. And yeah, let me know if you like this. Please consider subscribing if you'd like more content like this or Zoom videos to go through these items. 
yes, you can always create your own, but sometimes it's nice to just have a template that's already pre-made and made by somebody who is actually doing the things that you're doing as well. So please comment and let me know how that went. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, checking out this new Notion template, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.